I just thought I'd share with you my Easter tree uh, that I love to make and put up over the Easter week um, and to just brighten up the house really but I've never done it like this usually I use normal twigs um, and flowers um, but this year I saw a really cool idea on Pinterest of how to decorate um, some sticks that I just found in the garden so firstly just collect any sticks at the garden or the park um, and then I got some uh, leftover bits of uh, wool and I've just started um, to wrap it around the twigs so creating a knot at the top and then wrap it around the loose end uh, so that it goes underneath the wool and then I just changed the colour and I just kept going as far as I want. You could see leave some plain as well if you wanted to. And then I positioned them in a vase and I've got some little beads and things just to help them stay uh, secure in the vase. But you could use stones uh, or sand or nothing at all actually. I think they, they might stay secure. It depends how big they are I guess. And then over the last few years I've collected little eggs um, or different things that people have given me, things the children have made when they were little, things that I've made and that all adds really to the colour and the joy of it. It just makes me really happy so I hope you've enjoyed looking at that. Um, this year I've added in just little garlands and these are just made of um, plastic straws that I've cut up and threaded onto wool and I love the sort of zigzag uh, sort of carnival look really um, and that's easy to do watching telly with the kids you could hang them around the house really easy but lovely um, effect I think so enjoy making your Easter tree and send us some photos take care bye hi everyone I am gonna show you well me and my little Easter bunny are going to show you how to make your very own Easter Bunny. So, let's show them. So, this is the Easter Bunny. Do you like it, Mint? Yeah. So, what you'll need for this pattern is a 4mm crochet hook, whatever colour yarn that you wish to use. Minty. <laughs> so, 4mm crochet hook, Whatever yarn you choose, some toy stuffing, a yarn needle, pins to help you with the sewing on, and also a stitch marker if that will help you. So it's going to work. I will show you how to do the stitches that you need, and then the pattern will follow. Should we get started, Minty? Shall we? Go on. Go on. Just go and say hi to the camera first. Go on. Go on.
have it guys, a beautiful Easter Bunny. <laughs> Hope you've been busy. Hope that you've enjoyed making it. God bless and I hope to see you all soon.
everybody and welcome, welcome from Ruby Rabbit and me, Susan. I'm not going to show you how to make her because I don't think I would have ever made a Blue Peter presenter, but I can show you what you need to make her and she's very simple. And you can make it with just bits that you've got lying around the house or in the garden, an old plant pot, just paint it white or any colour you want really. And then all you need is a couple of googly eyes, a nose, if you haven't got these you can just draw it on, an odd bit of ribbon, you will need some string for her whiskers and some hessian, if you haven't got hessian you can have some felt or um, some cardboard maybe and a couple of scraps of white paper. Oh, and some glue. I forgot to put the glue in. Yeah, you will need glue. And that's it. Oh, and a felt tip pen to draw her cute little mouth. And there she is. Happy crafting. So I basically wanted to create um, as many Easter decorations as I could with things that you could already find in your house. I thought pebbles, of which we don't actually have any, so I went out and got some blue slate. Um, I did ask my dad's permission, and I'm 22, but it's always worth checking with the homeowner if you can steal their slate. <laughs> so I uh, started off doing an Easter egg. Uh, this will be um, a little chick coming out of an egg. Um, we've got the start of a bunny and then also crosses on a hill. I then have also used a jam jar and a plaster sauce jar. Uh, the jam jar I've started to paint little Easter eggs and daisies on. Again, this is just normal acrylic paint that I've put on. Um, and then the start of, again, little chicks and some grass. These need faces though. These, this is basically, if you can paint an oval, <laughs> you can do these, it's so easy. Um, and then I just got some plant pots and painted one yellow, hopefully going to turn this into a chick, and then painted one pink and um, put the beginnings of some Easter eggs on there as well. So my favourite colours for Easter are any pastel colours, so basically all I did was found a colour that I liked, um, added a load of white and then it muted the colour down a bit more so it was more of like a pastel-y colour. Emily, this is Daisy and Flory and we are here to do some Easter chocolate nests. So the first job we have to do is get shredded wheat and we're going to crunch them up. Can you help me Daisy? So we just squeeze them with our fingers and you want them to get all broken down 
no big bits. The air flurry, you try with this bit, look. And crunch, crunch, crunch things. Squeeze them all up. You don't want any big chunky bits, and this is making it look like. It looks like Flora's gonna be here. That's okay. <laughs> it's making this look like twigs that the birds will have made their nest with. Yeah, and leaves. Yeah, so, do you think that's broken up enough? Yeah. Okay, so, if you want chunks, don't let your fingers. I wipe from there, lot actually, I've got your germs, no one's dinners. Okay, so we want it to resemble bits like that. Then we've got melted chocolate here. Mm -hmm. So, any chocolate will do. Yeah. So, White we're going to pour this in chocolate. here. No idea how much we're going to need. Yeah. Making chocolate. Can you lick the spoon? Can you lick the spoon? Um, when do you get to lick the spoon? At the end. At the end. Which is the best part? You're going to lick the spoon at the end, are you? Yeah. So a bit more chocolate. So this chocolate is there's a bar of dairy milk, a little bar of dairy milk, and then a bar of just Tesco own brand chocolate. Oh. Oh. And this is four sticks of shredded wheat. So we'll keep mixing. If you ever oh. had oh, your mum make these as a child, you'd have hardly any chocolate in them, so we put extra chocolate in, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Making more Enough chocolate in there, girls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Should we put enough? Should we put it all in and get another shred of wheat? Yeah, it's put it all in. Food. I know, darling. You can lick the spoon in a minute. Okay. Right. We'll do that bit later, actually, Dinks. We can save that chocolate and do another one. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So everyone knows how to do chocolate mixture. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do the Easter nests. Yeah. Easter nests. Yeah. 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 Yeah
some little marshmallows. Ooh, can I have some? <laughs> Damn, all of these. Your yeah, Flo is going for it already. Put some in your next then. Hey, what's my other one gone? I've made it, but I need to make some more. Uh. So again, a nice little alternative. And then lastly, I think just put some shredded wheat in there. Look, so I've got another one. Okay. Um, you can buy all of these kind of decorations now. So these were a pound, um, Morrison's. Wow, Florrie, I think that's probably enough marshmallows. Look yes. at that. And Where's the nest gone? Out. Yeah. Uh, and I, these I, then, I, if you have a look, I think put some shredded wheat in there. Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? Yeah, you can eat it. No one's having any of yours. So these are little chocolate hearts that come in the little package look. So all we're gonna do is pop some of these out and then once Dinks has done that, do you want me to do it? No. So there we go. Put the little nest in. I have a marshmallow, that's yummy. You have a marshmallow, isn't that yummy? Yeah. Yeah, you can keep it's your one there. Yummy. You're in my tummy. You're in your tummy. Yes, thanks. Okay, and then so what we're going to do is just place a few of these Ow. little ready made chocolate hearts just inside the nest, like that. If you're very creative, I'm sure you can make them look like wings. Um, so there you go. So you've got lots of different alternatives. Um, and then lastly, like I said before, I love doing things like this for gifts for people. So I bought some bags like this from Amazon. Um, so what you could do is then give them as a gift. So you'd make them up, you'd put maybe four or five in here. Um, again from Amazon, I've just got some, here's yours darling, up, colourful um, kind of ties and there's about 10 different colours in there. And then some really lovely stickers that say handmade with love. Um, so what I would do once they were dry, was for instance, put one or two in here, put it down to the bottom, a little handmade with love, and then a little tie at the top, like this. Once your nests have set, and as long as you've not got Flurry involved in the making process, they are quite hygienic, and you would give that as a little Easter gift to your neighbours, your friends, your family, um, and there you have it, our Easter nest video. Good job, girls. High five. Yummy. Yes. Work. High five, Dinks. Shall we carry on and finish and eat them all? Yeah. Yay. Okay, so we're going to make a paper flower. So this is made from cake cases, um, using the big ones. But you'll also need a pipe cleaner, any colour, doesn't matter. And a pair of scissors so that's your equipment six paper cases a pair of scissors and a pipe cleaner okay so with your cases you get six put them all together in a bunch like this so they're all on top of one another and then on your table you flatten them down so this makes them into a big circle like this so all in one bunch, all six, all together. The next bit is we fold this circle in half. So you should have them all in half now, like that. Okay. Now, little people, this is the point you may need some adults to help you, or older people, because you need to get your scissors, and we're going to make two little cuts at the bottom of this semicircle, so I'm going to try and show you. So just, just little marks there. So then we unfold all the bits again. And where your holes are. You're going to take your pipe cleaner and poke it through. It should go through all the holes. Okay, so you've got your pipe cleaner up 
through the hole so this is going to make um, the stem of your flower so then you bend it back down the second hole bits of the pipe cream and just twist around each other just to make the step. Okay? So you've got your pipe cleaner and all your circles on top. So this is the fun bit now. So now we can scrunch up our cases and begin to create our flower. So you just take one at a time, scrunch it up. There's no method to this, it's just as you feel, the scrunch and joy. You can see, starting to look slightly more like a flower. So you do that on all the layers of the, the cases, scrunch them all up, and there you have a flower. So enjoy making this and I look forward to seeing some pictures on Facebook of your flowers and what you've done with them. Get creative, decorate things, put them in your hair. You can do loads and loads of different things so enjoy. Hi, happy Easter everyone. I'm Kathy and today I'm going to show you how to make this Four Seasons wreath. Okay, here we go. First of all, you need a metal wreath frame and a ball of rough string. Cut a six metre length from the string, put the two together, two ends together, and wind them up around your hand, leaving about 12 inches with a loop on the end there. Hold that together with a rubber band. Pass the loop underneath the outer frame and pull the string up to, to secure it. And then start passing the string in and out between the two rings. whole of the frame like that. You will need more than one length of string so when you come to the end you can either tie a knot to secure it or you can use a glue gun to stick it. If you tie a knot just make sure the knots are all on one side so they don't show at the front. So there you go, I'll, cut, I'll put that one aside Here's one I made earlier. As you can see, I've decorated it with some dried eucalyptus leaves. Now, these can stay on all year round and um, if they're dried. And then you start to put two spice jars. Buy them on with strong wire. I've got some strong wire here. You wrap the wire around the neck of the jar, twist it on firmly. You might want to use pliers to do this and then fasten them onto the wreath like this. So twist the wire around the back, make sure it's really firm. And snip off any on ends of secateurs. Remember to always cover the end when you're cutting wire so it doesn't fly off into your face. So do the same with the second jar. Twist it firmly. Attach it opposite the other one. twist around the back and snip the ends off. And 
now you can start decorating it. I've already got some fresh flowers here which I've uh, wired together and they'll go in the jar. Don't forget to put water in. But first of all, we need to decorate around the edge. So just take a few little twigs, leaves, small flowers, whatever you can lay your hand on. Take some thin wire and wrap it round firmly and then just attach that to the wreath. This wire is very easy to use because it's so thin. You can even cut it with scissors. Do the same with that, just cut the ends off as you did before. And I've got one here to go at the top. Before you put the top one on, just take a small length of string, not the end, make a loop, and then that makes the hanger. And then wire the top flowers right over it like that I'm going to ask my lovely assistant to get me some water please and then fill the jars with water Coming up, please. <laughs> That's enough. Don't lay it down again. And there you go. It's ready, ready to hang on your wall or your door. Hiya. My name is Vicky and today I'm going to show you how to make a really, really simple Easter basket and all you need to start it is a paper cup. So we're going to have a little paper cup here and this is what we're going to end up with at the end, a little basket that we can use on Easter day. So first thing we're going to make some ears. Now I've cut some big ears and some little ears out of card. We're going I folded the card first so that they would be exactly the same size and all I have to do now is separate them and I'm going to stick the little part on the big part to make these ears and then I'm going to stick these at the very back of the paper cup going all right at the back there. Just poking inside the cup. And there they are. Right, next bit. Oops, one of the ears have fallen off. Next bit's the face. I'm going to do two eyes. You could use pom-poms, sequins, buttons. I think I will use I'll use pom-poms. Here we are. One eye. Two eyes. There we are. And we're going to make some whiskers. Now to do those we need to get a little rectangle of paper and then we're going to go snip, snip, snip both ends so that it makes little whiskers and then if you give them a little push you can make the whiskers stand out before you stick them under the eyes. Now, you could go for another pom-pom or a, a button or a sticker or you could just draw your nose on. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a little sticker nose, I think. Put a little heart here, that will make a nice nose for a bunny rabbit, won't it? So there's its little nose. And this one's not going to have any teeth. This one must have its mouth closed because uh, I'm not going to put teeth, but you could put a little square of paper there for teeth. And now, at the back, I'm going to give my rabbit 
a little fluffy tail and thinking oh I, I know instead of a pom-pom I think I'm going to use cotton wool this time I'm going to put some glue on the back there and make a little cotton wool tail for my bunny rabbit there we are and the last thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you that we just need a very long piece of card cut and we're going to put a bit of glue on each end so that my little bunny cup turns into a bunny basket. Now if you just want a cup that's fine, maybe you might want to put a straw in it and have a nice Easter drink in your bunny rabbit cup or maybe you might want to fill it with popcorn or sweeties and you could use it for a family movie. I'm going to use mine in the garden to go out and look for Easter treats on Easter Sunday and see if there's any little Easter eggs there that I can pop in my pot and take back inside to eat. Mm. I could put little feet on as well and choose different ways of decorating it, have lots of fun hope that I'll be able to see some of you very very soon if any of my little friends are watching. Hiya, have a happy Easter. Bye!